Heavenly Father, we worship you. We give you all the glory. Jehovah, there is none like you, O oh God. The best thing we can bring to you is our heart of worship. And nobody can worship God for us. That is why we give ourselves to worship, Father. To declare from the deepest of our hearts that you are God. And besides see, there is no other God. You cannot be compared. Neither can you be likened. That's why we worship you, O oh God. You are our all in all. In you we find our being. Receive all honor. Receive majesty. Dominion. Power. From everlasting to everlasting God. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you for this great service. Living faith program. You shall be glorified. In Jesus name we pray and give thanks. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. This is another great day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. That we shall rejoice. Tell somebody we shall rejoice. And be glad in it. We have an assurance that the Lord expects us to rejoice. Aha! As you wake up in the morning, you better have an assurance. Tell somebody, you better have an assurance. And you know when you are so sure, then you smile before the day starts. Hallelujah. You celebrate God before the day starts. You say, Jehovah, how I honor you. Because you have made this day that I may rejoice and be glad in it. We may have our seats. I bless the name of the Lord because he's here with us. And even to those who are listening from far. The Lord is here. When I say the Lord is here, it's because I am so sure I believe in what he says. I believe in the word of God that says where two or three are gathered in the name of Jesus. The Lord is in our midst. Hallelujah. And this gathering, say this gathering, it is the Lord who has done it for his glory. And so we are sure he's here. To those who are listening from far, we are sure Hallelujah. Say so we are sure. We are sure that the Lord is also going to minister to you in a mighty way. Hallelujah. I feel like I want to talk about this power in sonship. I want to talk about sons. Hallelujah. We are heirs of the father. We are joint heirs with the son. Hallelujah. We are heirs of the father. We are joint heirs with the Son. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? I am talking to those who believe in God. Those who believe in God. And those who are led of the Spirit of God. We are heirs of the Almighty God. We are heirs of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. We are heirs of the Kingdom of God. If He is the King of Kings. Hallelujah. We are sons of the kingdom. We own the kingdom. We are kingdom owners. Hallelujah. If he is a giver of peace that surpasses human understanding, we are heirs together with Jesus Christ of victory. Heirs together with Jesus. He has together with Jesus. If he was glorified, we shall be glorified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I say, he has together with Jesus Christ. If he was raised up, we are also raised up. That's what the Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter number one. And he was given a name above all names. And he was put up, raised up, seated together with the father at the right hand of the father 
That is where Jesus is in Ephesians chapter number one. Ephesians chapter number two, he says, we, <laughs> hallelujah, we, the adopted sons, uh -huh. I say we, we sons of God, arise together with Jesus, seated up together with Jesus at the right hand of the Father. Hallelujah. We are here and we are not here. We are in this world, but in another world. Our lives are controlled. Our lives are subject to a higher authority. Mm. Hallelujah. We are not governed by the constitution of Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania. We are not governed by the constitution of the U.S. Hallelujah. We are sons of the kingdom. We are governed by the issues of the heavens. Did anybody hear that? We are governed by the heavenly constitution. Tell your neighbor the heavenly constitution has no failure. Has no defeat. True loyalty and sonship is the topic. Hallelujah. Then if we are sons, we have to act like sons. True sons. People with an understanding. I got a new revelation the other day. The Bible says in the book of John chapter number 1 verse 12. John chapter number 1 verse 12 is just what we know as I introduce. The Bible says those who believe were given power. Those who believe, those who believe were given power. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want to read that slightly and then we move on to the message. John chapter number 1 verse 12, of course, most of us will want to say it even before I read. The Bible says, yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God. They were given the right. I love the version that says, he gave them power to become you know I have become I've been a student before and I'm still a student and I've studied to a level that we got at one point and they said now we have been given the power to read I want to talk to somebody here when they say you have been given the power to read. Means you have acquired knowledge. And not just simple knowledge. There is a level that you have gone. Did you hear me? There is a level that you must get for them to say you have been given the power to read. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. When you are given power, means you are not a common man. Tell somebody you are not a common man. When we come to the level of saying we have power, given power means now you can even change your name from purity and put something else before and something else after. You can call, be called doctor. Engineer. Amen. Amen. We have the power. So when we are children of God, we have been given power. That means now you're not just a common person. Eh? Hallelujah. There is something else about you. You're no longer the child of your mother only. And your father. You're not an orphan like you say. Eh -eh. Hallelujah. You're not just as a pauper like you think. Now you have been taken to another level. Because power has been bestowed on you. The power 
of the kingdom of God. The power, the Bible says in Ephesians chapter number 1 verse 19, it says the power that resurrected Jesus from the grave. That is a power bestowed on sons. Sons have uncomparable power. I say sons have uncomparable power. The power that we receive is the power that resurrected Jesus from the grave. And nothing, see nothing, nothing could put him down. Hallelujah. The power that you will receive is that power that cannot be threatened by anything. The power we receive cannot be challenged by any power. Call it witchcraft power, zero. Call it Illuminati, zero. I don't know what you believe in, but whatever power you believe in apart from the power of Jesus Christ is nullified by the power that resurrected Jesus from the grave. Hallelujah. Everything else is nullified. Everything else is nullified. It is zero. But the power of God, the power of God can never be challenged. But he had it twice. That power belongs to God. You know when you're hearing it twice and it has been said once, it is telling us that that power must be awesomely huge. Mm. Hallelujah. All power belongs to God. All power belongs to God. All power. All power. David had it twice when it was said once. Ah, where is the church that believes? Where is the church that has an understanding? Is the power that we have been given to become sons? Ah, hallelujah. Whatever power the Father has is the power that we have. He, we are heirs. We are heirs. We are heirs of that power. And listen, the issues of this kingdom. They are practical. Tell somebody they are real. Did you say they are real? I want to say they are practical. Who said miracles are in heaven? Miracles are here with us. To believe. Those who believe. Signs and wonders. Shall follow us. Signs. Wonders. Will follow us. You need not to fear. You just need to know you have power. Ah, hallelujah. You have power like Jesus had. Hey, us together with Jesus Christ. Oh, son like he was. Son like Jesus was is what we are. I say son like Jesus was is what we are. Sons like Jesus was is what we are. And if Jesus had power, we have already received the power. The power. The power, hallelujah, uncomparable power. I don't know what powers are there. Money power, whatever powers are there. Ah, we have the right to talk to the powers. We have the right to talk to the powers. There is no power we cannot talk to. Mm. And those other powers must listen to us. Ah, yeah. I said all that other powers must listen to us. We have power to silence them. Oh, we have power to silence any other power. I want to address sons here. Sons here. We just don't get the power that is what we are expected. When you are a son, then there is an expectation. And if you have to conquer, then you must be different. The power should cause you to be different. The power should cause you to be different. I tell you, 
The son can do nothing by himself. He can do only what he sees his father doing. Because whatever the father does, the son also does. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Truly, truly, I say to you, the son can do nothing of his own accord. Did you hear me? I said the son can do nothing of his own accord. The son can do nothing. You can do nothing by yourself. According to your own will. According to your own desire. Your desires, your will are nullified. When you become a son, you adopt the fatherhood. Did you hear that? I said when you become a son, you adopt the kingdom walk. The fatherhood. What the father says is final. Hallelujah. You will follow. You will obey without struggle. I tell you there are graces that we may never get to. There are graces that we may never get to. And there are powers that we may never challenge. And there are authorities that we may never challenge. Tell somebody in all your life. In all your life. In all circles of your life. You do according to the will of God. Even in your troubles. The Lord is still within there. I said even in your troubles. The Lord is still within there. And so if you have to conquer. Agree. Tell somebody agree. Willingly agree. Willingly agree. To obey wholeheartedly. Ha. That is what the Bible says about somebody like uh, Caleb. Caleb in the book of Numbers, chapter number 14. Book of Numbers, chapter number 14, verse 24. The Bible says, now here it's talking about Caleb. If we say we are heirs of the Father, if we have to get there, aha. Uh -huh. I say, if we have to get there, if we have to get to our inheritance, if we have to challenge authorities, if we have to conquer, if we have to overcome, it is calling us to have a different heart. The Bible says, but because my servant Caleb had a different spirit and follows me wholeheartedly, I will bring him to the land he went to and his descendants will inherit it. I say because my servant Caleb had a different spirit. My servant Caleb had a different and he obeyed God wholeheartedly. Ah, hallelujah. Let me tell you why the witches are still pointing on you. Let me tell you why they are still playing with your body. Let me tell you why the devil is still conquering you. It is because you have been given the power to become a son. But you do things according to your will. You do things according to what pleases you. If you feel like I did not feel like coming. I just woke up in the morning. I felt like I don't want to go to church. How many times do you wake up and say, I don't feel like? Now, in this kingdom business, it's not about your feelings. Tell somebody it's not about your feelings. It's not about you. It's about the will of the Father. It's about obeying wholeheartedly. It's about obeying fully. Obey fully. And Jesus said... Truly, truly, the son can do nothing of his own accord. Hallelujah. And that power that we have been given to become sons 
is sitting on us. I said when you become a son, you have been raised to some power, some authority. You have been raised high. Ah, higher above principalities. Higher above demons. Higher above rul rulers of this world. If Jesus was raised there, that is where we are. And why are demons challenging you? Why are the rulers of this earth challenging you? Yet we say that we have been given power. Uncomparable power. The power that raised Jesus from the dead. Jesus said, truly, I do nothing of my own. Did you hear that? Truly, I do nothing of my own. Now, sons follow wholeheartedly. Sons do according to the father. Aha. Sons do not quit. That's why Jesus said in John chapter number 17 verse 4. That glorify me. Oh God. Glorify me. Because I have finished my course. Whatever you ask me to do. I have done it complete. Mm. Am I talking to somebody? Whatever you have asked me to do. I have done it completely. Hallelujah. Sons do not quit. Sons take up the task. Without complaining. Without murmuring. Without quitting. Jesus was tried. While on earth Jesus was tried. But he conquered. Why can't we conquer? Why can't we conquer? We have a job to do. Finish our assignment. Sons finish their assignments. Huh? Hallelujah. Sons are risk takers. Sons, even if it is so painful, you will say, not my will, but yours be done. Not my will, but yours be done. Even if it is like we are going to die. Not my will, but yours be done. Hallelujah. Those are sons. People who have nothing about self. It's not about yourself. You are ready to take up the pain. You are ready to pay the cost. You are ready to be courageous enough. You are ready to believe even when others are not believing. Ha! Ha! Hallelujah. In times of trouble, people get scattered. In times of trials, people get scattered. But those who know who they are, tell your neighbor, those who know who they are, they will hold on. They will hang on. They will still obey. Even in pain, you will obey. Even in your struggle, you will obey. You will keep on believing. You will keep on believing. You will not murmur. You will not argue. Ha. You will not want to reason like a man. Reasoning like a man, you cannot walk with God. People reasoning with uh, like a man, you can never walk with God. Now, this is what Caleb was. Caleb was bold. Caleb was faithful. Caleb believed. Caleb obeyed wholeheartedly. Caleb was not influenced by the multitude. Ah, hallelujah. Some of us are defeated because you are just influenced by one friend. And am I talking to somebody here? I said Caleb was not influenced by the multitude. Not even one friend should influence you against God. Did you hear me? Not even one brother in the house should influence you against God. Caleb was focused. He knew what he wanted. He knew who he believes. He knew his goal. 
Caleb was not a coward. Caleb was not unthankful. Caleb was not stubborn. Caleb was not rebellious. Caleb was not a mamara. Caleb was not an idol worshiper. He believed in one God, water or no water, food or no food, meat or no meat, one God. In the wilderness, I still believe in this God. In my pain, I still believe in this God. In all the struggles, I still believe in this God. Hallelujah. True sons. True sons are loyal sons. True sons are led of the Spirit of God. Father, I bless your name. Father, I give you praise. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Teach us to be true sons who will conquer the world through the power that you have given us. We bless your name and we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray.